How's it going you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing okay out there. I know the world is a little crazy right now and things are just popping up left and right and I hope you all have been okay since I last saw you. I know it's been a while and I have been a AWOL. Um, just had a lot going on. I've had uh, issues with my car uh, which have been quite hard to deal with. I am currently for lack of better terms, without a car right now. Um, and I've been trying to manage that and figure that out. Uh, it's been rough. It's been rough. And, um, you know, I know I made a video about never making an OnlyFans, but now I'm considering it. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, life's been a little bit rough recently, so there. that's probably why I've been gone. I mean, I'm sure I could have made a video. I just have been way too distracted. I know I did try to make one, and I just, like, couldn't do it for the life of me. I couldn't focus. I just didn't have the motivation. And I know those are all excuses, but hey, here I am. So I have three TikToks for you guys today. No, I think two actually. Yeah, two. Sorry for that. And um, they're a little different. And I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. One's going to be similar to what we usually talk about. And then one's going to be completely different. But um, I'm interested to see what you all think. So let me know your opinion. I do read every comment. I stopped responding to every comment because then I was like, uh, there's no point in, you know, going into a conversation over, like, comments. It's just, like, point of views will be missed and all sorts of things. And then a lot of times, a lot of comments are really supportive. And you know I read it because I like it. And I'm, after I read it, I like it, and then I'm like, oh, that was nice, or oh, that person hates me now. So, yeah, so anyway, let's get into today's video. So the first video is essentially a TikTok creator that I see quite a bit, and while uh, I don't really have many opinions on the individual, I don't really watch their TikToks, this one came across, and I wasn't really happy with it. So here it is. Let's go. Nothing. All right, all right. So obviously there's not like anything crazy, crazy going on. It's more so like an individual who is saying like, oh, this is what I would wear as a non-binary teacher. Um, I really don't care if you're non-binary. If you are, good for you. It's like aside the point. What I'm more so concerned with is the outfits you chose. Like they're very clearly dressed provocatively. And if you are in a professional workplace environment, I don't believe you should be showing off, you know, your thighs to the extent that this individual was. I don't think you should be wearing crop tops or anything like that. You're dressed in front of kids, you know, anywhere from ages like five to 18. They don't need to be seeing you, you know, your mid drift, like all the way down. They don't, they don't need to see that. They need to see you dress professionally so they can have that level of respect for you and understand that, you know, they're coming to class to learn and not be distracted by my teacher's abs are looking a little bit better than normal today. You know, it's just, I don't understand, you know, I get being non-binary. I mean, I don't and I do, but I don't understand, you know, how does being non-binary equate to wearing more sexually provocative clothing? I just, that part I don't understand. And I don't think that's, um, should be acceptable. I think you should be dressed professionally and you're clearly not dressed professionally. You're dressed in a way that you're trying to grab attention from your students, your kids. Like, come on now. Ugh. Anyway, next one. All right. So this next video is a clip from Jubilee. Uh, hopefully I don't get copyrighted, but you never know. Um, essentially it's a group of people who are lined up in a room and they are going to answer the prompt question of do white people have culture? Now I'm going to say yes, white people have culture. Um, and that's simply because if you look at, you know, the Vikings, you look at Ireland, Scotland, Australia, London, and the UK, or even here in America, you know, whether we be white or not. Like, we all have a form of culture. I believe every, you know, human being has a culture. And to say that one race doesn't have culture comes off a little, um, I don't know, like you're judging a race based off the race, you know, which I thought was a no-no, but I guess nowadays it's totally fine. And so, like I was saying, yes, I do think white people have culture, even though it's a popular opinion today that we don't. 
because of our race. But let's see what they have to say. Okay. We're all technically white. If you're from England, if you're from Australia, if you're from wherever, South Africa. You know, we all have these crazy places we come from and these people are around and we get those ideas from those people. But that doesn't mean us as a whole have no culture. But as a white person, it's not really a culture. You can have culture like I'm hella Irish, obviously. And that's a culture. But that just being... He just said it himself. As an Irish person, he has a culture. That is in and of itself a culture. He has culture. As a white person, he has culture. White is not a, it's, it's not a culture. I can't relate to you just because you're white. I think you could say that for any ethnicity, though. If we were all black, could I relate to you guys if, just because of the color of our skin? Yes, because they go through very similar experiences. Like, they'll get discriminated against, and you're not getting discriminated against because of your skin color. They can both relate to that. How to say you're, like, racist but not say you're racist is to judge a race right so he's assuming that because you are you know of a different race let's say you're black right that you're gonna face discrimination he's assuming that he doesn't know that he's assuming that all black people face discrimination therefore i don't know maybe he's gonna give them a pity card or something like that which is in and it of itself racist you are judging a person a group of people you are judging that you are going to know their experiences because of their race no other factor and so with that, I would say, no, you're wrong. Culture is not necessarily tied to your race. Now, it may appear to be tied to your race because typically within certain communities, you have a you know, certain type of race. For example, you'll have a different race in Ireland than you will in Africa, and you have a different race in Africa than you will in Asia. So typically, yes, because of where we come from ancestrally, you are going to see one culture mostly... Uh, shown through one race now this concept that this that he just said that you will never experience uh, discrimination because of your race isn't necessarily true when you have I don't know school districts in the America in the America in the United States that are firing white teachers first simply because they are white and um, I think that's a form of discrimination whenever you are doing something just because of someone's race, right? Whether you be helping them out or not helping them out. It's a form of discrimination based on race. And so to say that white people will never face discrimination based on race is not true just because you don't believe it could happen because you don't know. I don't know. Maybe you have like some sense of moral superiority or you just feel like you're superior because you're white because you might be racist yourself. Um, doesn't mean that that's the case. Anything can happen in the world we live in and to just wave things off is a red flag. Um, and I hope this guy gets to figure out his stuff. But I agree with what she said. I don't think um, just because someone's a white or black or Asian, that means all of a sudden you can relate to them. I think that's false because I guarantee you that an African-American in the United States could not relate to someone who is African and black in Africa. They'd have totally two different experiences. And I guarantee you from what I've heard, now this could be wrong, but people in Africa do not see African-Americans the same way that African-Americans see them. As in like African-Americans would be like, oh my gosh, you know, we are connected some way through race. And Africans would be like, no, we're not. See you later. So that's all I got for today. On the videos part now with everything going on in the world i do want to just say one quick thing and that is you know please be careful and just take care of yourself i know i'm probably not going to speak on what's going on between israel and palestine i did it before and it wouldn't make sense for me to start doing it now you know i my heart goes out to all innocent lives on both sides. I think that uh, innocent people shouldn't be dying and that governments shouldn't be doing what they're doing. But we're in the real world and I don't get to live in my utopian society. So I'm back and I hope you guys have a great day and take care. And uh, what do y'all think of my new hair? Also, I want to do a Q&A video. Someone asked me in the comments that I should do a Q&A video with my partner. Now, the only thing with that is I'm probably not ever going to bring uh, my partner onto my YouTube channel. 
I'm probably going to keep my YouTube and personal life very separate um, just because I want to not intermingle online and the real world. So hope you all can respect that. However, I am totally up for a Q&A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. I might not respond, but I'll like it. And um, if I don't like it, I saw it. I promise. I get a, a few requests now. Um, and sometimes I don't respond. I don't, I'm really bad at it, but I do read everything. So just keep that in mind that if you say something, it will be seen by me. Uh, so yeah, if you want to throw up a question, just say like, Hey, I have a question for your Q and a send it and, uh, maybe you'll be in the, the next video or the next video after that or somewhere around there. Anyway, you guys take care.